You know, it was a shocking case. It was a serial killer here in Charlotte, and there were murders that went unsolved for years. This was back in the 1990s. Back then, a young homicide detective was helping to solve them. Well, that young detective is now Mecklenburg County Sheriff elect. This case so fascinating, it was turned into a TV show that airs tonight. NBC Charlotte defender Michelle Bowden has the twist you won't believe. Serial killer is shocking enough, but Bad Henry, as the show is called, profiles the man who's known as America's first African-American serial killer. He was accused in 90 killings, convicted of nine right here in Charlotte. And wait until you hear the connection between all of his victims. The city of Charlotte is still a city in shock. Bad Henry is a new true crime show based here in Charlotte. Four victims in three weeks, all young black women. Bad, as in Henry Lewis Wallace, was a serial killer terrorizing Charlotte in the early 90s. That's a cold, calculated killer. Though for a while, police didn't know just how bad he was. Oh, we knew at that time that we were looking at a person who may have committed three separate murders. In fact, Bad Henry had killed nine Charlotte women, strangled all of them, and they were all women he knew. Gary McFadden, now Mecklenburg County Sheriff-elect, was then a young homicide detective and is now the star of Bad Henry. He says in 1992, police were so buried fighting the war on drugs that it took a while to connect the dots in the Wallace case. So the attention and the resources weren't focused towards that. It was focused the war on drugs. It was a tough time in the Queen City. People were afraid to come out. People were afraid because of the crack epidemic. People were afraid of getting carjacked, robbed. Everything was kind of chaotic and was very violent. But a few things broke the Wallace case wide open. A fingerprint and a confession. And McFadden admits he came away a changed man. It was a very big turning point for me. It was a very big learning curve um, of how we need to uh, better connect with the families in law enforcement. Um, we didn't do a good job back then. He says that lesson still holds true today. Not only does law enforcement need to connect better with victims' families, but with the community as well. Law enforcement and the victims' families really need to connect, but law enforcement and the community need to work together. To solve cases. To solve cases. He was convicted of all nine of those killings that happened right here in Charlotte and is right now on death row. The show airs tonight at nine on ID Discovery and producers are considering turning it into a series. Reporting in Uptown Charlotte, Michelle Bowden, NBC Charlotte.